Gigaset is the latest company to wade into the smartphone wars. We're taking a look at its first effort. It's the Gigaset Me series. Let's investigate. So there are three variants of this phone, but let's start with the standard one. It's the Gigaset Me. Okay, so this phone has a five inch display. It's got a 1080p resolution. I have to say that display does make a good first impression. This thing looks very crisp. Colors look quite natural. Um, my first impressions are good. The design is also quite pleasant. It's nothing revolutionary. This thing really does just look like most other smartphones, but it feels quite good. It's built with metal around the sides and that gives it a very solid feel. Around the back, that's a 16 megapixel camera, while on the front, that's an eight megapixel camera, which means you're gonna have plenty of pixels for all of your selfies and video calls. There are a couple of other camera tricks worth mentioning. The first is that Gigaset says this phone has very, very fast autofocus, which could be good if you're trying to take a photo of a moving subject. And the second is something called focus later, which means that you'll be able to take a photo and then afterwards tinker with where exactly the point of focus should be on that image. It's also got a fingerprint sensor on the back for a little extra security, and this is a dual SIM phone, so you can have two SIM cards in it at once. If you don't want two SIM cards, you can use one of those slots to store a micro SD card. Gigaset's also saying that it has a very high capacity battery, but we've heard a lot of battery claims before, so we'll be looking at that when it comes time for the full review. So that's the standard Mi. Now there's also the Mi Pro, which is a little bit more fancy. It's got a 5.5 inch display. It's got a 20 megapixel camera. Or if you're looking for something more basic, there's the Mi Pure. Now the Pure has a five inch display again, but it's got a slightly less powerful processor. It's got two gigabytes of RAM rather than three gigabytes. So let's talk about the all important price tag. Well, the Mi Pure, that's the low end one, is gonna cost 350 euros. The standard Mi, which is one we looked at first, is going to cost 470 euros, while the more expensive Mi Pro costs 550 euros. They're all going to go on sale in Europe and China in the autumn. So what do you think of these phones? Let me know and check out cnet.com slash for much, much more.